Hello and welcome to the final video in the Baselight workflow series. Today we're going to talk about how to relink media, whether it's all of the media in your entire scene or whether it's just one shot and you need to relink. So the first scenario, really common, um, this short film that I've got in my timeline here, all of the media is currently on my hard drive. So if I go ahead and tab into Finder, you can see that on my Lacey hard drive and my Baselight tutorial assets, paper plane media, I've got my camera raw clips and my sky replacement clips. You can see as well that um, down below here on my desktop, I've copied the exact same folder structure from my hard drive onto my desktop here. I want Baselight to point at the clips that are on my desktop. Currently, my clips are linked to my scene container. Baselight uses the scene container as a route for all media file paths within a scene. So if I go up to my views and scene settings and the image container tab, you can see that my container is currently set to my hard drive, my lazy hard drive. Now, because my folder structure is exactly the same on my desktop, if I go ahead and browse here, and if I navigate to my desktop, I've got a bookmark here. Okay, um, you can see that here's my media folder structure. I'm just gonna click my desktop and hit okay. So now you can see that I've changed my container. Let's check whether it's worked. I'm gonna click this first clip and click the browse for new sequence button. And yay, you can see that it's linking to my desktop through my folder structure into my camera raw folder into my clip here. So as you can see, really nice and easy, you can change your scene container and the expression will automatically update. As long as the relative paths to the container directory remain the same, relinking the media is as simple as specifying the new scene container. So again, I can navigate back to my hard drive, hit OK, and you can see that again, all of my clips are still online, but now if we click the browse for new sequence button, it's now linking to my hard drive. So that's a way to relink your entire scene to a new location. The other way to relink media is just on a per shot basis. So if we go back to our finder, we're currently linking to our hard drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna move the first shot in this film here. I'm just gonna move it out of the camera raw folder into the root of this media folder here. Okay, so you can see we've moved this clip out. If we go back to baseline and just refresh this here, you can see this first clip has now gone offline. And that's because this path is now out of date. So obviously it's been taken out of the camera raw folder. So there's a couple ways we can change this. But first of all, I'm just gonna point out something here. On this clip, we have an offset of six frames. Okay, so I've bumped this shot six frames forward. So just keep that in mind. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit this browse for new sequence button. And you can see it's taken us into our hard drive, into our camera raw folder, and it can't find the clip. But the clip's right here, so we're gonna click it and hit change. And the clip springs back to life. Okay, so that was a successful relink. Uh, we now have the media back in our timelines um, and everything's looking good. You can see we no longer have the camera raw folder. Um, the one thing it did do though, is if you go down here, into the frame sub panel, you can see that it no longer has the correct offset. So I need to go ahead and change this back to six. So when you relink files with this method, you've got to be really careful um, that you're not affecting the sync of your film. If I just command Z that a couple of times. Um, another safer way uh, to relink is if we head up to the sequence tab and if we just manually edit this text field ourselves. So we know that um, all we've done is take this clip from camera raw and moved it up one directory. If we go ahead and just delete this camera raw from this clip here and hit enter. Uh, you can see we've manually updated the file path and now it sees it fine. And you can see that if we go down to the frame sub panel that we still have our offset and our sync. So I always prefer to manually edit the text field itself and that's it. I've shown you how to either change your scene container to relink to a different directory. Um, again, it's really important that your folder structure is exactly the same if you are doing this and a couple of different ways to relink individual shots if needed. I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure to head over to Patreon and show me some support and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.